Hi everyone, welcome to Glitch Guru. In today's video, we'll show you how to edit PDFs on your Android for free. To do this, you will need to download the Canva app from the Play Store. It's a free app that lets you edit PDFs for free. Once you've downloaded the app, open it. Now, tap this plus icon at the bottom. Here, select this upload option. Here, you will see all the files saved on your Android. Select the PDF you want to edit. Once you've selected the file, wait for the upload process to finish. You will now see your uploaded file under the recent designs. Tap on it to open the PDF. Once you have the PDF, you can simply tap on the elements to edit them. For example, I can tap on this text box and edit the text. It will also maintain the font style and size as I edit the text. If you want, you can change the font style using the option at the bottom. There are tons of options to choose from. Similarly, you can adjust the font size using this slider. Also, you can change the font color from here. Basically, you can edit almost all the elements in the PDF. If you don't want this logo here, you can simply select it. Then, tap this trash icon to delete it. Similarly, you can delete photos or text boxes from a page. If you only want to move or resize a text box or photo, you can do that as well. You can even add new elements, text, and photos using the options at the bottom. For photos, you will need to select the upload option. As you can see, I can select this icon. Once it's added, I can resize it and move it around. Canva also lets you reorder pages in your PDF. To do this, simply tap the three dot icon at the top. Then, select View All Pages. In this menu, you can simply drag the pages around to reorder them. You can use the options at the bottom to duplicate, delete, or even add new pages. If you want to edit or delete multiple pages, you can use this Select option. Once you've made all the changes you need, tap the Share button at the top right of the screen. Then, select Download. Make sure the format is set to PDF. Then, hit download again. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below.